I had been in a, a Buddhist monastery in South Korea, drawing surface 12 hours a day inside. This monastery was up in the mountain near Busan down in the south of Korea. So you go down there for some tea. Say if there's 12 people sitting down at a meal, I toast to you, you toast to me. In the space of a half an hour, you have 12 shots, and that's only fucking beginning. Everybody does a part of peace. And then I'd recite Irish poetry. And they do little dance, you just straighten the thing, you know? And they loved it. You could say the dancing is sort of sculpture, you know, movement. Yeah, I'm a tidy dancer, I love dancing. And it's a great way for seducing ladies. They love a good dancer. They think you be dancing in so you can get paid for them. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, Michael Miles Cahey. Uh, this is happening this year, and the owner of the shop asked me to do a big mural here. There's a story about High Brazo, this Mitzger island that appears and disappears every seven years. Nobody knows where it goes to. Yeah, it's probably going all around the world, and maybe they call it something else over there. But there's a story told that when this island appears, the water underneath is boiling, right? But here's an old fisherman with his teapot and the boiling water, look, and three cups of tea for his friends. So that's that for that. Ireland was always known, the island of saints and scholars, and curiosity, and music and literature. And now they're paying all this to an army of fucking slaves for Apple and Google and all these bollocks in there. All the old fellas would be smoking their pipes, but it's not ordinary tobacco in the pipes. They're smoking magic mushrooms. You don't get lung cancer. You don't have to pay government tax. When you buy a packet of bags for 20 euro, you're paying 18 euro tax to the government, you know? So this was when the living was easy, yeah? This one over here is a parrot trainer in the circus. His family are known as parrot trainers for generations. After a thousand years, he begins to look like a fucking parrot. And all this parrot can say, well, you have to go fuck off, go fuck yourself. Uh, anybody asking for directions, go fuck yourself. You can say nothing else. Uh, and a lot of people want to kill this parrot. Because say if you had a new wife, uh, and you were bringing her out, and all this parrot would say, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself. Or maybe I'd fuck you, if I had anything to do with third level education. First of all, you must be 25 years old, and it would be an interview panel, three people. Explain to me why you want to study engineering, and what have you done since you left school. All this exam pressure is the road to learning. Education must be stimulation rather than indoctrination. Have confidence in yourself, creativity. Learn the Irish language. Your language is a key to culture. Ceausescu, he was a complete Bollocks. But he had a policy. You got your education, third level education free. You got your accommodation, food, drinking allowance, transport free, right? And in return, all you had to do was to work for the state for one year. You're a poor farmer and you have six fucking kids. And, you know, to have the curiosity and the passion to go to university. How the fuck are you going to pay for this? University fees in this country and then accommodation. It's getting prohibitive and it's castrating the future of Ireland. Education is stimulation and it shouldn't depend on your father's wealth or lack of wealth, you know? So, I mean, this is the future. That's enough for today. Thank you very much.